friends. We're in the kitchen. Um, so not a pins and ink video. Go ahead and skip off this if you are only here for pins and ink. Uh, I've been talking about kimchi fried rice kind of a lot because I've made it kind of a lot lately. And I promised I would make a video of how I make it. So that's this. This is not a necessarily a how to make, but a how I make. Those are different things. So we will move on ahead. Um, I've got my mise en place here, mostly. Um, I have my glasses for when I'm cutting things because I can't see otherwise. And I'm gonna pull back my hair in a minute. Enough of this, let's get down to business, AKA the cutting board. And I'm happy to see that I did in fact hit record. There's always a little concern. So let me pull back my hair first because gas flame, don't want hair around it. Also, don't really want hair in your food. So step one is, is get a glass is a double old fashioned approved. And in that we will put a sugar cube and um, some bitters. I like these, they're very cinnamony. And I will put splashes on the sugar cube. That's, I don't know, five, some number. You always get tempted to lick this off your fingers, but very strong. Do not recommend. Um, okay, now we're just gonna do this like probably no editing. If that bothers you, also go away. I mean, for your own sake. And we'll put a splash of water. You could use soda water. The reason you want to add water is that sh sugar doesn't dissolve in alcohol. You're in a muddle. This is the, the sort of part that feels like it takes forever because it does. Mm, I'm getting some of the things I forgot to get, you know, as you do. you know, a knife, not for this step, for later steps, and a stirring implement. Almost there. Sometimes you say, can we be done now? And the answer to that is, that's up to you. If you feel like you want to be done now, go ahead and be done now. What happens if you don't dissolve all the sugar? The bottom sip will be very sweet. And quite frankly, there's nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. So that's going to be good enough. I always rinse it off. You can see it's like very red. That's because I made a drink with cherries in it. Um, and then I'm going to take some bourbon. Not sponsored. I'm going to put two ounces. I'll get set aside to go back from whence it came. Oh, but I gotta close up the sugar cubes because if you don't, that's how you get ants. I don't know if everywhere has those kinds of ants. We certainly get them here. They also come out in the summer for um, wa water. So when it's really hot, they'll like invade your bathroom, which is horrific. So now we're gonna need a sugar cube, sugar cube, ice cube. We have the sugar cube, or several cubes of ice. I have these big ones, so I'm just gonna use one. These I fight with. They are a pain, cause like you can easily get this side out, but this side is like, oh yeah, there's nothing to push against early. I saw this, don't be like this. I saw this sugar cube maker that makes clear ice, or sugar, I keep saying sugar, ice cube maker that makes clear ice. It's pretty dope. It does it by having like um, a section underneath that like, um, it holds water, basically. So, science. 
then also we need some amarena cherries i like having more than one but i go with however many come out on the spoon so this time i guess we only get one life is sad meant to put that in after we stir. Well, that's all right. We're going to stir. This is so we chill it. So, we're sort of like forcing the drink into the ice. And it does get quite cold. You can see it on the outside of the glass. But then also, this dilutes it a bit, which is desired. And then I think you're supposed to have a slice of orange. Which I could do. I have an orange here, but I don't think I will. So, step one make an old fashioned. This stuff is optional. So, what do we have for kimchi fried rice? Lots of rice. So, this would be three cups, but this is just how much I have. It's probably two cups, maybe more. No, wait, that can't be. This is more. It's some number of cups of rice. And then Kimchi, we get this at a store where you need a membership. Um, garlic, uh, sesame oil, I like this brand, not sponsored, sesame seeds, a couple of eggs, well, egg for each person that's eating it, and then some kind of meat. Today I'm gonna use some Chinese sausage because it's open and why not use it up? This is how far my thought process goes with this. So. I want to eyeball how much rice I have, and I want enough meat to go with this. Sometimes we use Spam, and usually it's about half a container. That varies. So get your knife. I like this knife because it's left-handed. See, the grip of it is asymmetric. It's kind of shaped like the letter D, but for the left hand. It was one of the best presents I got. Although you're not really supposed to give knives. We're gonna do these two sausages per person. And then see what that looks like. Then we're just gonna cut these. You can cut them however. Sometimes I like to be fancy. These slices are too big. That's all right, we'll cut this one in half. No one will know but the whole internet. Um. This one's gonna be in the way if I cut it. I think I'm having a hard time. We're gonna do one by one. I don't want them too thick, especially if you do it at an angle because then they get to be bigger slices, but angled cutting is so much more aesthetically pleasing and fancy. Oh gosh, don't cut like I'm cutting right now, okay? You see this? Don't do it. Hopefully you couldn't see it to like be like, oh God, no. I was just looking through the food lab cookbook and that's as much as a book for reading as it is about recipes. In a section on these, he's like, why do they call it a handle if you're not supposed to hold it this way? <laughs> that was like his early thoughts when he got into cooking. I'm like, amen. This might be enough. You can add kind of as much or as little meat as you want. You don't have to add any. Oh, you know what it would be good that I always like forget about but and then think, oh, I wish I had remembered? Peas. If you don't like peas, don't put them in. But also give peas a chance. What do you think? Is that enough meat, y'all? What do you think? Okay, I have 
with the peas, so they're frozen. Is that enough for me? It's a funky shape. Do we do one more? If we do one more, then there's none in here. Do we do two more? Let's do all the meat. <laughs> it's gonna be very meaty and I'm okay with this. Look at that, what is this? Come off of there. We'll cut some of it normal. No, we won't cook well food, we'll make them all different. You can be, my mom likes to cook and she is not a fast cooker, which is fine with her, with everyone. She is intentional in her kitchen, you know, thinking about stuff, enjoying the process perhaps. She makes a lot of food that um, everybody says is very good, but that are not my favorite. Is that true? A lot of food? Some food. Like meatloaf. Apparently she makes quite good meatloaf. But I don't really like meatloaf. She also does zucchini stuff that she should know now that I don't like. Because I am traumatized by it. For those of you not in the U.S., that would be courgette. Okay, there. Lots of meat. Meat goes there. And then we're gonna get the kimchi going. So here is a bowl with a strainer in it. And for the normal size recipe, we want a cup. But I'm gonna make more than that. So let's see how much is in here. Definitely all of this. Okay, I'm gonna put this away. And just dump the rest out of here. Come out. We want this to drain because we want we're gonna put the liquid in, but not at the same time. And then I felt like it's been skimpy on kimchi lately. So I may add a little more. We might have to call it fresh, but I mean come on. None of it's fresh, just freshly opened. That looks nice. You can put more kimchi. You can put less. For three cups of rice, one cup is good. That'll go in the fridge. This I'm gonna push again. It's not, you don't have to be perfect draining this, right? Cause you're gonna add this liquid anyway. Set that aside. You'd be good. This aside. Then we need some garlic. Quantity to be determined by you. Um, ours is floating in oil. We did this in an old kimchi container. I say we, my partner did this. I cannot take credit. You wash your hands. Beautiful. Okay. Now, I just need to mince this. That means I can start on the um, meat. You're welcome. 
welcome for that. <laughs> Sorry. Probably should have paused. Anyway, I have a big old um, saute pan. And I have to turn the fan on. Sorry. Slash. Deal with it. Anyway, so I'm going to put a bunch of oil in here. And we're going to put that in. Ready? Yeah, that's a great view. We'll do this. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. You know what's funny is I just cleaned the stove. And then the next day, we're, I made burgers. Great job. So... Turning on the heat to five, which is that size. I'm gonna let the pan heat up a little. This is for frying some eggs later to put in there. You could also do not fried eggs. You could do soft boiled eggs if you wanted. I suppose you could also do like scrambled. So we're gonna put, I don't know, some oil, that much oil, okay? Exactly that much, no more, no less. Okay, actually just a little more. I joke, it just covers the bottom of the pan. Not quite heated enough, we'll come back. Come over here. We gotta get our, our slidey choppy thing. Cut off the tails. Do not include those. They go to the compost bin. Hey, Oop, this one doesn't want to smash. I'm gonna put this in now. Mm, my oil could have been hotter. Can you hear it? We're making a lot of this. That was too much meat. Partner will undoubtedly be pleased. So this can be minced. It, could, it kind of depends on how much you like your garlic. Like if you like biting into big, big pieces of garlic, go ahead and leave it big. Oh man, you know what? I meant to put bacon fat in the pan. I have some from the aforementioned burger night. It's so nice to cook things in bacon fat, don't you think? If you are a bacon eater, I mean, if you don't eat meat, then probably you're like, that is horrific. But my, the saying is that for pigs, we use everything but the oink. Ooh, can you hear it? The pan is sizzling. Actually, I think I hear my partner talking in the next room. He's playing shooty games with a, a friend of ours. started out as a friend of mine and then, and then they started messaging each other and like that brings me joy okay so this sausage is already cooked so we're just kind of heating it and giving it some color now I'm gonna need this knife otherwise I would clean it off immediately I don't leave my knives with stuff sitting on them but we'll go check on the meat together okay over here be careful don't fall in Now, this is, ah, a lot of oil, you may be thinking, you were right. Ooh, it's getting color nicely, but the rice really wants a lot of oil. I burnt myself slightly, such as wife. Add oil. Okay. Washing hands. I'm going to pause for that. 
pans left oily. Let's add the garlic. Now we gotta be careful and quick. We don't want the garlic to burn. The first recipe that we found, like, put the garlic on first. I'm like, um, that's a recipe for burnt garlic. I'm going to turn this down a little to, like, four. And I'm keeping it against the edges because this pan has a high spot. And if I let the garlic get there, it will, just, it will definitely burn, especially since the flame is right in the middle. That's okay. So come over here. Whoop. And we got our kimchi. I'm gonna push on it a little. And then, whoop. This gets washed. And this gets chopped mints, whatever, gets cut up. Something said fingernail size pieces. I usually just go like across. Across at a right angle. Then if this was fabric, I go on the bias to that. Here. Then I like look at how. Oops, we almost lost a piece. Mm -hmm. Then we look at how big it is. This could be smaller. You see, like I try to keep my little thingies away from the blade. Ooh, I hear stuff popping back there. Probably the casings. So, this is good. It's kind of like, like, think about this. How big of a piece do you want to bite into when you're eating it? Make it that size. Okay, now this gets rinsed. Oh, shnikey. We have a problem. The garlic burnt. I'm gonna have to do more garlic. Pausing. Okay, got a bunch of the garlic out and put some new garlic in. Now we're gonna put this in. So come over here, pretend there's no burnt garlic. And if you're using meat that needs cooking, that you should add this, um, I should say, I'd add the garlic just before you add the kimchi. And the kimchi should go in at about 75% cooked. So then we're gonna come over here, wait, are we? Let's add some peas. Wait, are we? Let's add the rice. Should I change my mind again? Maybe. I'm adding this many peas. Sorry, I, like things are, are going perfectly. I'm gonna stir those in. Sometimes I look at how many I've added and think, hmm, I should add more. And sometimes I think, maybe next time I'll add fewer. I just like the peas. It makes me feel like I'm eating vegetables and they add a nice pop of flavor. They're frozen and they went in frozen. Now this is on 
two and a half. And we're going to add the rice now, okay? Be careful over here. You're near the sink. I don't want you falling. It's better, maybe. I'm going to get my hand wet before I add the rice. On the idea that maybe it'll help it not stick. My hand. Because we're going to... I like to, like, crumble it in a little bit. This is great, you're seeing the bottom of the container. We're almost hugging now, you and me, camera. I may have thought I had more rice than I did. You don't probably have to do this step, but I find stirring it in so much easier when I do this, and it's not difficult. So I made this, I don't know, a day or two ago, knowing that I would be doing this with it. If you don't have leftover rice, you can use fresh rice. What you want to do is take that rice, put it on a plate so that it can like spread out and, and basically dry out. The problem with fresh rice Otherwise, if there's too much moisture on the surface, well, then it won't fry and won't separate into grains. Okay, rinsing hand. Now, stirring it up. Sometimes I have to add more oil at this point, depending on what meat I've used or how much I added at the start. And I do this to make sure I have no big clumps of rice. It's kind of what I'm checking for right now. If I have any or several large clumps of rice, by the way, we're losing rice to the stove, we're losing some to the floor. This is fun, this is why you clean your kitchen. kimchi liquid. Stir it well. I gotta turn this up a little and putting it on four. So once this is heated, we're done, basically. It's edible. What I do, it calls for some sesame oil. I add a tablespoon by eye, um, and I do that near the end because sesame oil has such a good, strong taste when it's freshly applied. The strong scent as well. It's lovely. This should not need any salt. You can add some if you want, I suppose. It does not need anything else. So there you are. Like, you can see it's all like separate rice. I'll tell you what, you deserved it. Um, so my next step will be to fry a couple eggs, put this in a bowl, put the eggs on top, or put it on a plate and put the eggs on top if you want to be fancy. I got this bowl from Ikea, not sponsored. You could like put some rice in here and like, you know, fill it and then dump, turn it upside down on the plate. So it's this pretty little mound of rice and then you could be like, oh look, I'm fancy, I'm doing plating. I don't usually have time for that, you know? I want to eat. But sometimes we make care. We take care because we do care. 
or something. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Um, I'm going to turn this around so you can, I'll leave you with the image of this beautiful rice that is now trying to stick to the bottom of the pan. And I'm going to see if my partner is ready to eat so I can fry some eggs. Thanks for, uh, I hope, no, what am I trying to say? If you make this, I'd like to hear about it. I hope you have a wonderful day filled with delicious food. Take care of yourselves. Bye.